Hi there, I'm Sean Power here at the Hilson Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. We're here today to check out the new WA-14 SP from Warm Audio. Let's give it a look and listen. The WA-14 SP is a sequential stereo set of the WA-14 microphone, an authentic recreation of the ultra-rare EB circuit 414 style mic, the most truthful studio mic of all time. Ideal for capturing the natural sound of performances with minimal coloration, the WA-14 delivers the same sonic performance of its original EB inspiration. The WA-14 SP provides a stereo pair of WA-14 mics loaded with an all-brass CK-12 style capsule, variable pads, three polar patterns, and unlike modern iterations, the WA-14 mics are transformer balanced for rich analog sound reproduction. The WA-14 SP achieves present pianos, punchy guitars, clear overheads, and a natural stereo image, just like the original mic used by The Police, Common, Freddie Mercury, Billy Corgan, and countless others. Let's hear how it sounds. This piano was recorded with the WA-14s used as a space pair fairly close to the hammers. This went right into the WA-273 with no EQ. You'll hear them soloed, then in the context of the mix with a little bit of compression and EQ. For the B3 organ, we ran through a Leslie rotary cabinet with a WA-14 on each side of the upper horns to capture the stereo spread. Both microphones were in a cardioid polar pattern and had the negative 10 dB pad engaged. We also had a mic on the lower rotor to capture the low frequencies from the organ sound. You'll mostly hear that the texture though is coming from the WA-14s. For drum overheads, we use the WA-14s as a spaced pair into the WA-273 with no EQ. You'll hear the close mics, the overheads, and then everything together in the context of a mix. The included stereo bar is great for setting up an XY capture, keeping both capsules lined up over each other to avoid any phasing issues. Here we're using the figure eight polar pattern to give the rooms some spread. And of course they sound even better with some compression on and a little EQ to darken the cymbals. Of course, you can also use WA-14 just on its own. We tried it a few feet in front of the kit to capture an overall picture of the drums using the omnipolar pattern and the negative 10 dB pad engaged. It could really come to life if you overdrive it a bit. In this case, I set up the WA-MPX to add some extra grit and color using the high pass filter and low pass filter as well as a tape saturation circuit to shave off some of the transients and bring up the ambience of the room. The WA-14 is fantastic on acoustic guitar as well. Here it is about 14 inches off of the 12th fret of the acoustic, flat with no EQ. There are a number of ways to stereo mic an acoustic guitar. 
Here we use the provided stereo bar to space the mics equally from each other and from the guitar. This should help avoid any phasing issues while still allowing the guitar to be spread out a little bit in the mix without having to double it. Electric guitar is one of my favorite things to record in the studio. Warm Audio makes a number of mics that are great for use on a guitar cabinet, and the WA-14 is one of my go-to mics. This Marshall 412 has vintage 30s on one side and blackbacks on the other side. I like to put a WA-14 on each speaker and record them to their own tracks. You could hard pan them, but you're not really going to get much of a stereo spread because it's the same signal. The real benefit here is having the ability to blend them in post while you're mixing and decide later if you want to use one or the other or both. Because the pair is matched, you can know that the only difference you're hearing is because of the speakers themselves and nothing from the microphone. And of course, everything sounds better when it's doubled and brought into the context of a mix. Another really cool application for having a matched pair and a stereo bar is the ability to put it in front of a singing guitar player and capture them playing and singing at the same time while retaining the focus and separation between the vocals and the guitar. In this case, we're going to point one up towards the singer and the other down towards the acoustic. Having the capsules roughly the same distance from the source should avoid any phasing issues while still giving us the ability to control the volume between the vocal and the guitar. But sometimes I think about you in the middle of the night and I, 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 I go back to As usual, this is another fantastic microphone from Warm Audio. The ability to use a pair of them together opens up a ton of new opportunities. I've been using these microphones for years on tons of different sources. I love that they're very smooth and true to the original, but without the harshness of some of the later iterations and other similar styled mics. Having the negative 10 and negative 20 dB pads both gives you the option to put it on some extremely loud sound sources. And also having the transformer in the body sweetens up the sound as well. It's awesome for electric guitars and drums, but also has the detailed and balanced frequency response you need for vocals, acoustic guitar, and other string instruments. The WA-14 SP opens up new possibilities for stereo imaging and capturing multiple sources with reliably matched microphones. If you like any of the music you've heard in this video, check out the links in the description, as well as the full performance video from the singing and guitar play. If you have any questions, head over to warmaudio.com, let them know what you think. Still